this is going to be entirely impossible without some sort of gay little fan. I don't know. I definitely don't own a gay little fan. Ah, yes. I will simply use the instructions of the thing I'm supposed to be installing. Okay. So, I am back now for another uh, part of Disco Elysium. Sorry. I was supposed to successfully figure out how to install an air conditioner. But, um, it is designated sitting time while I procrastinate my insane twink problems by playing disco- Hi! Hello! Oh, thank you. I- it got put in a box with some stuff that I forgot about, because it was in summer clothing. So, I found it today, and I- shirt time. Um, I'm once again procrastinating my insane twink problems by playing Disco Elysium, um, because responsible choices. Ah, yes. I remember leaving off at a point very, like, time to make decisions and go explore things. Where's the mouse? Yes. There we go. Yeah. Um, instead of installing the air conditioner, I'm instead using the instructions as a gay little fan. Um because some of the things I was supposed to do today did not quite happen. But it is also important that I take a, like, designated sitting time, because, um, the next two days of the weekend are going to be a lot, so I need to make myself sit down and not run around like a crazy person for 48 continuous hours. Um, so it is, it is reasonable procrastination, but also... Hmm, time to focus on someone else's problems for a moment. I remember... We had... Um, okay. Yeah, I remember we don't have any specific, like, tasks to go do right now. Uh, we could, can we call Sylvie about the trash again? Because I don't think, we didn't know about the trash when we called Sylvie. Is that, is that a thing that makes sense to do? I am in the car. Inside, we you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Just a second, I'll be there. Ah. Sylvie Malaika on the line for you, officer. Yes, hello? Oh, great. What else do you need, detective? Yeah, I just want to know. Ah, fair. Well, I... You tried to jam it down the toilet, sir. Clogging it completely. After oh. I had unclogged the toilet and retrieved the paperwork, I threw it out in the trash, thinking you didn't need it. I see. Um. I am sorry about that. Anything did you, else, detective? Did you put the clothes in the trash? Do you know anything about that? Can I ask you about that in any way, shape, or form? No? Uniform. I I never saw you in any uniform. You had your things on. The disco things. The disco things. I can't ask Sylvie if she knows, like, like if she's the one who put the clothes in the trash. Or anything about that. If anyone... Okay. You hear the call breaking up. 
on the other end of the radio. And Anything else I can help you with, officer? Okay. 57, over and out. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers, a radio on a hook, a pull-out toolbox, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. The white suede feels luxurious under the touch, and the metal clutch handle so very familiar in your palm. Your fingers waste no time closing around the handle. Clutch disengaged. Release the handle. Clutch drops. Right foot yearns for the familiar touch of the accelerator pedal. You have synced with the machine's mechanical circulation. The smell of freshly treated leather, the lack of dirt and dust on the dashboard, and a neat little brush in the cup holder, all seem to be whispering. I'm good, cherished and cared for, in the hands of a tending owner. You feel an uninterrupted Apparently, connection to we are just tenants. having a very, very intimate moment with the car now. After a while, you realize silence is your only answer. Do what you will with it. Of course it's only in your head. Of course it is. But it almost feels as if the clutch handle is gently squeezing back. At the bottom of the sea. Okay. Apparently thinking too hard about cars can hurt us emotionally. So strange. The machine is not on the bottom of the sea at all. It's right in front of you. Well kept. Why did it say that? Because it's lonely. Just like you. Seaweed and strange fish around it. Limpets clinging to the carcass. The sound of the streets above. The handle is pulled back. Somewhere deep inside the drivetrain, the disc is mated to the flywheel again. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers, a radio on a hook. Somehow we're doing a better job of bonding with Kim's motor carriage than we are with Kim. Okay. Um... Maybe... I can't believe it's snowing again. Because I know... She it felt like gave us just the description of, like, all of the... Where things of are. Where to? Um... I remember... She said west was, like, just water. Some shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast, but it's broken, I think. Some kind of accident, probably. Just coast. There's a little fishing village there and a fish market, but that got closed down ages ago. Okay. The harbor gates, some kind of commotion. Oh, I think. okay. I don't follow the local politics. Yeah, because we a were almost, we were almost getting into the harbor, but I didn't know what we were doing there. Um. That's east. Okay. Yeah. No problem. She's very well composed. Back straight. Cool. Yes, because I remember there was something. There was something like we found it, it felt like we found we like stumbled into the shed and there was something of like kim said something about the harbor that like i didn't know what was going on can we go to the harbor and figure out why everyone keeps telling us about the harbor hello
Okay. We can't get any further in there without jumping off the roof. Um, but, hang on. Can I? Hello? I don't think I'm smart enough for that. I was trying to walk up the ramp manually, but also giving up and just clicking the ground where I would like to be. All right, taking the easy way out. Kim, Yes. What did you say last time we were here? What do you want to know? I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a, a pissing competition. You don't know? I assumed you were in on it. <laughs> Better still than an imbecilic cup of. It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my take, ask me after we've inspected the victim. Kim? Later. Was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? I mean, okay. Good. That... Oh! I have to click on the... Jacket. I know there was. Isis. Our appalling cloak with possible RCM markings is still caught on the railing. The wind is aggressive up here. The lieutenant looks at the enormous crane oh. in the distance over the container yard. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know why we're here. Kim was very excited about it, for some reason. So, are we trying to get in there? That machine is a Kvalsund 1020HK. Let's impress Kim with our with our machine knowledge. Is it? Qualsun makes a lot of heavy equipment, but this is phenomenal, even for them. But I digress. We were focusing on your cloak here. Mm. The cloak? I do think it's yours, yes. As to whether you should go for it? Well, it doesn't seem too dangerous. Two meter stops? Whenever you're ready to do it, I'll be right behind you. The cloak looks like a bag of goodies floating in the wind. Who knows what its pockets may hide? Okay. What, yeah, tell what me this we again. What are we doing? We're awfully close to breaking into the industrial harbor. They're bound to have information for us. I thought that was our intention. Information about the Union? I'm missing something. <sighs> okay. Or it could be that we are just exploring. Okay. And I have to... Okay. 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 Um. Um. Okay. So, we can't get into the harbor until I stop being a scared little bitch about it. Can I go back inside? How do I... Hello? How do I, how do I get off the roof? But the only thing I know about the harbor is... 
Well, someone said something about a lot of things. Can I please? There we go. Everyone wants, everyone wants Harry to jump off buildings today. Kim wants Harry to jump off of a building. Now you want Harry to jump off of a building. He's not ready. <laughs> okay, that's a wall that connects to something else. Ah, yes, my least favorite children. What is that? Oh, it's a leaf. Um, cool. I think we just get to wander off now. Oh, isn't that the, um, pants that Kuno was yelling about? I am a gander and a hunter and a gatherer, feel like a traveler. Okay. A simple little cadence. He seems to be making it up as he goes. I'm gonna leave you to it for now. Clothing, the, the the brand of the pants? That makes sense. That makes sense in context for, hello? Oh, that's on the outside. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll come back to him and his song. This is, this is the door that's locked, right? Yeah. Um. Now, I know it seems like that should be a very easy bit of spatial awareness. Um. But. That, uh. Oh. Oh. to sing as well, sir. Oh! He, the fa speaking of the fact that he's just casually... Uh, so, my, I somehow mentally inserted the like fictional city name Revishal into the lyrics of Master of the House from Les Mis at one point and like startled myself because I, I don't know what it was because it's obviously like things are very things are very france themed here um which is making my brain stupid and just dr dropped that in and i was like why is that here that hello there are people So you're the what what's going on here? You're the one I can talk to. Bastards! We have a right to work. Hmm. Oh, 
hold up and stay frosty, everyone. Cops are here. Uh-oh. You here to fuck with us? Beat the honest worker down. Um... Here's where I have to, here's where I have to have a brain. Okay, okay. This is not good. We're here to fight for a cause. Stripes usually have problems with people who have causes. I... I'm currently having a problem with you, but I don't know if I want to tell you that. Why do I not have any options other than... Ooh, ooh. Yeah, the... I sat here for a minute absorbing the, like, there, there was one person that outright said like, there was a, like, floating text line, unions are a scam. The fact that his second sentence includes the phrase right to work, he's called scab leader. I, I took it, I, I, that's why I was, like, sitting here for a second, just like, oh, uh-oh, something's fucked up here. Um, but why, why do I not have any options other than, uh, I don't want to admit that, I don't want to admit that I think you're probably a problem, but also, the lady sounded scared of the union while she was concussion testing us. No, no, that wasn't the lady, that was not that lady, the other lady. Who were we talking to? No? What? Um, who was the one who was, like, the union handles everything, they're basically the cops? It was Sylvie. It was Sylvie who sounded scared of the union. Something is, something is, like, okay, this is the, this is the, I feel like we're missing something, I feel like we're missing something, this is what we're missing, and I, mmm, fuck. It's, I remember there was a thing where we could have pushed Sylvie for more information, but, like, she sounded like she was about to cry, so I, like, backed off of it. Oh, I know, that's, um... Yeah, I know very very much the point of the game is this, but I'm like digging into it and trying to figure out what are I'm I want you to I want you to tell me more things so Good. I'm not gonna pre I'm not gonna apology. let you know that I am suspicious right of you. To work. Right to work Besides, we're not that different. It helps if people see us talking, cops and strike breakers together. Shows authorities are on our side. Builds confidence. Uh, yeah. Might be time. Don't let the fat bastards tread on you. Cops tend to side with the higher ups, but you're essentially still workers. I don't trust cops, but I can see. And I understand. don't trust you. Hey, to work! Right to work! Nothing good has ever come. Okay. 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 I want you rights to tell me people, more things. Rights of workers to have gainful employment, to make a salary, and feed their family. Maybe you should ask them the questions, like, why we're not allowed to make a living here. Shame on you! We have families to feed, you piece of shit. So do we, Scott. Um... Yes, I want you to tell me more things. We were promised work. We'd be in there, working, if the bastards hadn't shut the gates. Okay. Main gate's locked. We'll take 
heavy ordinance to bust it open. I try to get in through the secretary's office. Door is locked. The guards blocking the way to the access panel. Okay. The questions I want to ask are things like, what, like, what is this building? What is it like? What does it do? Like, how? Like, I want, I want more information on the scale of the strike and all of those things. But I'm not going to get that kind of specific. And I don't mean right the scrawny mess punk either. I mean head measurer or whatever he is. Huge Seminese guy standing up there on the overhead passage. Won't let anyone by. The access panel is right behind it. We have two hit points. Bad. Standing on a narrow bridge, he's got a strategically advantageous position. And he's trained. Yeah. Like, that wasn't the question. I don't know how the Union has a trained killer up there. But that one's no joke. And my men are tired and hungry. They're workers, not fighters. Okay, so you just answered that question, and... Like civilized folk, you mean? These native fucks don't understand civilized. It would be better for the neighborhood if you went home, at least for now, if you can't get in anyway. No. They will give up eventually. Or get drunk. Leave the button unguarded. Then we charge. I know that the tape on my camera came down. Hello. Yes, this is uh, held in place by some tape. Cool. Um, the questions that I'm trying to process are like, okay, how many things are affected by the strike? What are they? What's going on? And the question that it's letting me ask is, what is a strike? Sure. Honest men and women with rights to work, to be useful, not toys for corporate interests. Hammering it in just in case anyone, uh... We came here to help the harbor run smoothly in time of crisis. If union fucks don't want work, they ought to let in those who do want work. Fascinating, 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 fascinating. I am... I have a question. <sighs> Why do all these men follow your leadership? Because he's got the shouty cis man voice. You think That's 90% of the big battle. And loud? No. They follow the rules <sighs> of the market. The rules of the economy. Because they were... Given a job to do! Proving yourself wrong. <laughs> Literally. I want... I, I want to yell at this man. I don't even know why we need to be in the harbor other than the fact that You're not going to give me answers to the questions that I am asking. And also, you are literally just the loud one. Okay. Scab?
Ooh, that's interesting. If I pretend to be part of, if I pretend to be part of the Strike Breakers, can I backtrack later? Good one, officer. Don't worry. We hear Never mind, he didn't buy it. RCA. Imagine, you cops going on a strike, but then another cop comes in and says, let us cop for less money. <laughs> Speaking of, what brings the RCM here, to the Wild North? Come to see the strife? You know, serious business. I'm sure the big boss will be glad to tell you. You'll have to ask him first. Y yes, that... okay. He's a chatty guy. Wants to talk about the strike. Return once you've met the union boss and are on a better footing with the organization. That sounds like a plan. Murder, huh? That sounds like a lot of hard work. You'd never see me investigating a murder. <sighs> That's okay. I have no idea what I'm doing either. I don't even know what day it is. Don't tell me. It's a better day that way. Interesting. One thing I would never do as a dock worker, investigate a murder. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> I... <laughs> um... The brain, the, the brain wheels are spinning. I'm definitely, I'm, I'm definitely, okay. I want you My to tell friend, me more I things. I respect the right to roam. The open range awaits. I don't operate in that capacity. I'm not a grantor of passage. The passage grants itself. I walk right past Measurehead and go in. Yeah, the two and a half meter tall Semini Supremus is there. Walk right past him. I do not. I, d I do not. The door. Uh, I do not appreciate the. Uh, and go past him again. And you Sarcasm? Enter the through the Question office. mark? Stop. Thinly veiled attempts to get me to walk into a trap? <laughs> Using the trap that comes pre-installed in my brain against me? Okay. Yeah, he just immediately clocked the attempt to lie. Absolutely 0% concerned about any of this which is weird and i and i know that's the point it's very interesting and mm. he's so friendly i'm afraid of him the man whispers a jaunty tune a coastal breeze ruffles his hair I can just ask him for money. Sure that thing, went so friend. poorly with the old I lady. Can help you out. The coin Mary oh. slips by your outstretched fingers and falls to the ground. That's fair. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to throw it like that. It's a thing we harbor folk do, passing around cargo and such. 
passing around cargo? You just throw it at each other? Okay. Was not meant as provocation or ridicule. The boy Adero stares at you with respect, then gestures towards the trickles of blood adorning your clothes. Thank you, Kim. Right, always glad to help out the RCM. We're on the same branch, you and I. Humans, I mean, not slithering scabs. Your willingness to say that to a police officer is not a good sign. That is not a good sign either. Alrighty. Okay. Yes. He really just went. He really just went short. Just. This is the other side of that. That's the other place. Okay. Okay. Can I zoom out and see things? Yes. Interesting, 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 interesting. Okay, so we were over there. That connects back to the yard with the body. Um, we're trying to get that way. And the only way to do that is by jumping off that to go there and then that connects somehow that way to th something that goes past in a sneaky way is that the plan for the jacket option and then the plan for the get past the guards option is in case of strict pushback behind a guard. Okay. Okay. What are they doing here? What is this, like, what is the industrial harbor for? They have a hermetically sealed door? What are you doing? That lady just said more than enough to please a woman, which was the only thing I caught from this conversation. What is happening anywhere? <laughs> oh, they're like, they're like fawning over the strong boy, sure. Nobody betrays your degeneracy. I'm just gonna get roasted by every person we meet forever. Yeah, Measurehead. His body totally betrays his degeneracy. <sighs> I don't... I don't actually know why we need to get into the harbor. We need to talk to the guy that is in the office that I didn't check anyone else's names. Um. That is precisely the negligence that has led you to succumb to all rule. You reek of it. An invisible sword of Alhul emerges from your throat. You cannot see it, but others can. It is making the woman in my company sick. I don't see how this is relevant. No, you don't. You need to get another drink. Occidental upload group B4 is done giving orders around here. The influence of the Am Sandwich race is waning. 
now hang on. Are are you displeased with me for being a disgrace to whatever specific bullshit you've got going on? Or are you encouraging me to go be worse? What do you want from me? And also, I have no idea Begging what- Begging for help. Attempting to pass fear for cooperation. How far the Occidental Hablo Group has fallen. You were once a noble and powerful race. You gave the world eugenics, electricity, and powerful weapons of war like missiles and aerostatic aircraft. You made great gains in metallurgy, race theory, and statecraft. You dominated lesser cultures, like the deformed Hemians and the inexplicably potato-obsessed Koikos. But now your ascent to the genetic summit has halted. You are obsessed with sadness and with frivolous pop culture. You will be superseded. Isn't that right, babe? It is, baby, yeah. You know it. I just need to talk to the guy in the office. <sighs> is the... There is a button right behind him. Just out of reach. It must be the one that opens the door to the harbor. Okay. If this is going nowhere... I... Okay, we're gonna come back to... Oh, okay. Okay. So... We have shit show number one, shit show number two, and shit show number three. And there's... There was... I don't... Measurehead. Don't remember the other two's names. There was this... Person on the balcony from the Union, scabs on the ground. I know he was being sarcastic, but measure had no the other the union guy. Okay. Okay. Call me Manana and scab leader. Okay, so yes, so Manana is the guy from the union. Yes, that makes sense. Um, what? I. Okay. Kim. 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 Yes. What do you want to know? Why are we trying to get in the harbor? The first instruction that has made any sense was... Manana saying to go talk to the guy in the office. Now I know he was being sarcastic in the rest of the sentence. But, he, he was being sarcastic about, oh sure, just walk right past measure head, that's gonna go great, go talk to the guy in the office, but that is the first actionable thing that anyone has said that makes sense as an instruction, and also I think someone else might have told us to do that already. Maybe you can tell me what you do know, to help me narrow it down a bit. Do you want me to brief you? Three days ago, the RCM emergency desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in Martinez. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body and behind the security the guard was hired by the, the union. Days. No one or had to investigate. I know someone said something about how the security guard got there or if it was 
I don't remember all of the things that we learned from doing the boot situation. So I think I might be mixing up some details from that. And that is making me During that crazy. time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. Dock workers, logistics company Wild Pines. This is, in fact, the information necessary. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. <sighs> yes. Yes, I'm getting it now. Okay. We know he was security guard hired by the... Union, but I thought the Union security... Okay, just extra security guard that happened somehow. The logistics comp... Is he from Wild Pines or... Is he from Wild Pines or is he a different thing? A security guard or worker of some sort hired by Wild Pines. This was just hearsay for Martinez, of course. We need to find out the truth. Okay. They didn't identify themselves in any way. The tone was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The dock workers' union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now it appears they've started executing too. We cannot allow that. Right. Well, okay, sure. That's us, the Revachol Citizens Militia. We're the police in this city. The RCM, or the Revachol Citizens Militia, is the police force you and him are part of. A self-organized peace corps of the occupied city of Revachol. The RCM operates within a legal twilight, yet its authority is rarely questioned. It's super useful to know this. I see. I get it. but I do want to know if you're going to tell me more things. That's right. Cool. We already did that. Can I? Good. Cool. That was the missing information. I just needed to ask Kim questions that I thought were too easy. Okay. I don't trust you. You were very sarcastic. All I'm wondering, man. How can and I help you? Tried to. You know, serious business. Okay, I know this I'm is sure the thing before. I'm sure the big boss would be glad to tell you. Yeah, You'll have to ask see? Him first. He's a chatty guy. Wants to talk about the strike. Return once you've met the union boss and are on a better footing with the organization. I would love to ask you for non-sarcastic instructions, but I don't think that's going to happen. The 
he said he was in the office. He said he was in the office, and he said the office was past measure head. <laughs> he was being sarcastic at the time, but I don't think that part was a lie. I think my question is, why can't I tell Measurehead that Manana told me to talk to the union boss and then either have someone, you know, tell the union boss this or, you know, no, he doesn't want to, or have a person say a thing to someone about something to prove that Manana told me to talk to the union boss. And if someone told you to do a thing, and other people don't want you to do the thing, sometimes you can make them go yell at the other person instead of you. Oh, hello. The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. Let's go. You can revisit the bench, if you ever need to pass the time when Lieutenant Kitsuragi is gone. <laughs> are we just- are, are we just being offered a, a bench to go wallow in our own loneliness? Sit- sit here, clutch his handkerchief to our chest like- uh, like- like a- like a- abandoned- Yeah, that's exactly what we're supposed to do. <laughs> what do you do while I'm gone? Wait on the bench for you to get back. Again, just, we have his handkerchief. we just supposed to s sit here on the bench. Are we allowed to hold it or will you thwart me? No, we're not allowed to dramatically sit on the bench. Clutching Kim's handkerchief to our chest like a, an abandoned uh, love interest. No. We're not allowed to hold it. Fine. I see how it is. <sighs> Time for exploring. Ah, it has allowed it to be 1 p.m. now. What were we supposed to do at 1 p.m.? There was totally a thing. Oh, um, the kitchen. We're allowed to sneak into the kitchen now. I'm being told to memorize things. It went away very fast. And it said... Lose 87. This is a book about pate. I'm writing down the thing that it told me to memorize. We had a bag we could collect the bottles and sell them for money. But also, I don't think that we're going to get enough money from the bottles to, like, cover our hotel bill. So I, f I do think we have to do another thing to get money as well. Um, I really don't think we're going to be able to pay our uh, $130 hotel bill um, from collecting some bottles. We might need another plan. What are you doing? Have you no shame? Whining about your back every time you bring out the measuring tape. Rene, you're a man with a fork in a world of soup. Please, let's just try to enjoy the game, alright? 
I'm trying to, but you keep breaking my concentration. You're old. I can see that. We're both old. Now stop grabbing your ass like it's a girl. Do I need to just show... I, I don't need to, like, viciously show up these old men. You're such a wuss. We have things sure, to do. Sir. I am Rene. Rene Arnu. And my specially abled partner here is Gaston Martin. How can we help you? Unfortunately, I don't. And like most of the locals, I have no qualms about assisting law enforcement. Mm. But this affair has passed me by completely. In Martinez, the union is the law. So can you really blame them? Cop is a pejorative term. I don't have a problem with policemen. On the contrary, I admire the effort to bring order to our streets. If I knew, I would not be afraid to tell you. I simply don't. I'm an old man, not a coward. The daily business of the riffraff no longer concerns me. Yes. The terrain here provides an interesting variety to a familiar game. I do. Fire from heavy artillery. Why what? Because that's what happens when communists hijack your country, we execute have so your much supreme amnesia leadership, and are not and trying to hide it from anyone anymore. House. You use heavy ordnance to clean up your home. Well, Call me, you need communist, to learn socialist, some things. Anarchist. Call them what you like. They just chose the name to feel special. Senseless sentimentality. Sadly, no. It was the foreigners who brought them to their knees. We fought valiantly. Mm. Too valiantly. So valiantly we got licked. Should have fought dirty, like they did with their suicide sex cult propaganda and mad anarchist women strapped to shrapnel bombs. We didn't, though, and we lacked caliber. God bless him, but the Suzerain's cannon simply weren't big enough. See, it worked. You can't argue with... You can't argue with the fact that... Like... <laughs> like the, uh, category of Tumblr posts that read things along the lines of, uh... You people just see the words frogs, trans rights, and the skull. Ah, oh, hello! Like, um, like the category of Tumblr posts that read things along the lines of you guys just see the words frogs, transgender rights, and the skull and hit reblog. Um, sometimes you see the word suicide sex cult propaganda and hit reblog. <sighs> this place is a damn beachhead, son. They had to soften the commies up first. Yes. The military coordinated amphibious landing to take back Revachel. Martinez was used as one of the three footholds in Revachel during Operation Deathblow in 08. The other two are off in Stella Maris and the Delta. Oh, we were totally supposed to get a map from that thing with, um, books, weren't we? We were totally supposed to acquire a map so that that would be contextually relevant. Um... 
This here is blood ground, where coalition boots first made landfall and cleaned those rabbit dogs out. Most likely, we plagued Petonk on their mangled corpses. Blood ground. You got old René going there. Like he isn't hungry enough already. Okay. Yes, this is mm. this is what um Don't get the sweet old lady in the cafeteria wanted us to learn dogs, about. But uh, the enemy of my enemy and all that. They're the lesser evil. Um. Damn right, son. They laid the fire of hell on this city before they stormed it. And it worked, too. The rest of the city got cleaned up, but not the Nels they keep as a monument. And now the Union Socialists are practically running the place. Well, it's your own damn fault. You, we, the Coalition, Revachol, whoever you want to blame, never finished the job. Officially, the party never surrendered. Of course, they still all influence. You don't even begin to truly understand the players at the table, let alone the specific circumstances surrounding the... Thinking men have opinions on these things. Present one. I think the fact that we have to interact with the union boss in order to get any of this done is scary. And the uh, answers are... Hmm... <sighs> I don't have thoughts. I don't have thoughts for you. I have I have thoughts for a conversation that isn't the one I'm currently having. I'm sorry it had to be them. After eight years of fighting those hyenas, boiling cats for food and drinking piss in the mountains. I would have preferred if the right honorable King Guillaume returned to Revachal. Or even if that damn clan Fussel had risen from the grave and led us. Sadly, that was not the case. Instead, all that is just, holy, and beautiful in the world was wiped away, and now it's neon signs with toothpaste ads everywhere. Foreign influence, pet. This is just what the commies wanted. This was their plan all along. This is what they wanted to replace the role of the suzerain with. The suzerain is the king! Has everyone forgotten already? It's no use talking to you. You were still in Daddy's borders when it happened. When we took our last stand against the Fifth and rode the cavalry straight into gunfire. I'm curious. All you observe is a veteran refusing to let go of the past and his old uniform. This is not uncommon. This is the uniform of the Royal Carabineers in service of Fissel the First, Guillaume Le Lion, and the valiant King Philip the Fifth before him. Don't you mean Fissel the Fan? You do not speak his name, Craven, although he was a clown. But he was our clown, ours to ridicule and to mourn. There's something you missed. You will get to it. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. That was... That was what the sweet old lady in the cafeteria wanted us to learn things about. Important. Um, what's happening down here? That I did not go far enough into that corner, I guess. This is a different bit of the floor, I think. Have we been down here before? 
Or did I just not see that man? Lovely. It is 1 p.m. Hello. Hello, drunk stranger. It is- no, I can't talk to you. I can't interrogate the- the day drunk stranger. All right. What did I pick up? I didn't get to read it fast enough. Oh! A plastic bag! We can collect bottles now. Can I? No. You put the plastic bag right next to a, a non-clickable trash can? The cruelty of- the, the, the cruelty of putting so much potential. Oh. There we go. Do I get to learn things? I just want to pick up- I, I, I must pick up a single bottle so I can move on to another thing. My brain is so, so focused on using the bag now that we can. Please, let me- No? Hello? I can click a button and make it show me more things. This coin-operated viewer is facing southwest. Its coin slot is full of fossilized bubblegum rendering the machine permanently inaccessible. The metal feels cold and wet under your palm. It looks unhygienic. A thick layer of graffito covers the lenses. You spell out the word Onug written on the other side, with N and C scribbled backwards. Under the graffito, a sea of blues and greys appear. Behind the water lies a coast studded with concrete and reeds. On it, a church on stilts, lanky weather-worn wooden planks, an X-shaped cross topping its tower. You know this to be the star of Perikonassus, or the Cairo. The, the church looks old and weather-worn. There are no lights in the windows. Around the large wooden building you see chunks of sea ice gathered on the beach. Interesting and a small tent sets up on the ice. Okay. Did we... Was this where we were supposed to get a map? Because... Hang on, let me... See. Acquire a copy of the city map. I thought it... I thought it said there was somewhere we could buy a map. And it would make sense. That was near the place. This is a bookstore. Do you have maps? Hello, sir. Step right in. The store is open. Do you have maps? I know, sir. Are you no. interested in a new and exciting book? <sighs> it's a bookstore, sir. We sell books, postcards, and some board games. <laughs> it's called Crime, Romance, and Biographies of Famous People. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hold your horses, little girl. A postcard is a small cardboard picture. You can write a few words on the other side and send it to your friend or beloved. This is not the store that I thought I was approaching. Sure, sure, that child. Describe to me the concept of books. Them, I am unfamiliar. Told story in a really long letter. Aww. That's actually a really sweet description of book. Board games are like little games on a table, made to pass the time. There are several different ones, but sailors here mostly buy cards. My pleasure. Anything else you'd like to know? You are the only pleasant child we have encountered, but okay, sir. I don't- Okay, I'll try I... to answer any questions you have. I hope they're about books. Yeah. You- you are a very- you are a very sweet child. And... 
So you don't know anything about the bad things that happen. Crime fiction is about murders or burglaries Aww. or things like that. And the work of a policeman <laughs> or a private detective who's trying to solve a crime. Look, I have criminals. only encountered the three children, but two of them were really, really mean. And this is a sweet little girl who... Uh... Can't tell me what crime is. Crime is a deviation from the law, punishable by either a civil or criminal sentence. It's what the law prevents. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's kind of like a puzzle, too. You can guess who the criminal is, or how the good guys are going to catch him. You don't look much like a policeman. Oh. Maybe she will tell me things if I can acquire the jacket. Didn't mean to offend, sir. Sorry, sir. It's just that you don't look like Dick Mullen. Mm. Being a slightly bad influence to mean? this child. And everything's better now, sir? Why is I'm that? I'm gonna be honest. You'll understand when you're oh, older. Okay. I shouldn't have said that thing about Dick Mullen. Oh, well. She looks at Dick Mullen, frowning. Check out the pose. Rigid as a stick. He couldn't even wipe his own ass. You don't want to be like that. He isn't even drawn right. She examines the picture, trying to find whatever is wrong with it. She then shrugs and puts the book aside. Unco sure you can, We've sir. just got to roast this fictional, fictional cop really He'll quick. No match for you. Maybe you can show me some real police work, sir. Like in the books. All right. The girl keeps her hands folded, hidden. Why is that? What do you mean, sir? She looks around anxiously. Her hands remain folded in front of her. She doesn't want to show them. The lieutenant stands by, looking at the two of you with little interest. The question, the question is, the impression, the, the question is, make a good impression for Kim by pulling out deduction time. But we are going to find something, we, we are going to find information about a little girl that she would like to keep hidden. <sighs> she brings out her reddened hands, her nails frayed. Nearly chewed down to the flesh. Sweetie, you same hat. Well, not hat not biting already. them, but like. <laughs> look, look, look. Sweetie, you're in good company. Well, that proves nothing. Anyone could do an easy deduction like that. She nods, half provocative, half enthusiastic. Ooh. This is, is a so little bit light-hearted and funny. We're yeah. not gonna read her f to filth in front of her mother. Well, about her mother. It was okay, sir. There's more that can be achieved here. Ask her to do the same. You're quite sober. 
The lieutenant does not flinch at the comment. He does not flinch even a single bit. He is intensely not flinching. It takes <laughs> oh, Kim. I sure hope you are, sir. There she stands, swaying on her feet, assaulted by the early spring breeze. She smiles at you. The whole situation suddenly feels familiar, somehow. Familiar? You have absolutely no idea. Familiar? How? You must have forgotten something you heard. Again. Well, we don't have a completely working memory. This is not the store that we need to get maps from. Because that's with all of the books we... Where's the store that would have maps? Ooh, I'm supposed to be collecting bottles now. There was one over here earlier. Hello? Yes? No? That is definitely a plastic bottle on the ground. How do I pick it up? How do I pick up the- I have to- I have to be holding the bag, don't I? That would make sense. No, how close, please. There we go. Or, wait, will it tell us how close to having skill points we are? Very close again. Now will you let me pick up the plastic bottle? Yes! Hello. Okay. Cool. Uh, I was looking for a map. Um, you said the store was to the east. That's the shipping company. Yes. Okay, here. Do you, are you Welcome with the straight? to Ivashol. I don't want to talk to you. This man looks like trouble. You might not want to get into this right now. Plenty of time. My brain agrees with me. And I'm gonna... Okay. Hello. Welcome to Frit. Feel free to look around or something. Everything is out on the shelves. What's that magazine she's reading? Um... That's, that's like walking in, that, that's like walking into a store, just, just walk into a store. Hello, yes. I don't know. What? Frit? A 7 to 11 grocery store? I think they think that the extra tea makes it <laughs> funkier. It doesn't. The story goes that normal Fritta with two teas, a men's workwear shop in Vredefort, was already taken. So when Fritta Retail Inc. grew into a multinational corporation, they had to add an extra letter to avoid trademark infringement. Oh, okay. You mean this? This is Pop Stars. It's got like famous people in it. It's not for sale. Looks like it also has something called Police de la Mode, featured on page 34. This speaks to you. Uh, 
Okay. What's up with the magazine? Um, it's where they rate different outfits famous people wear. It's kind of funny. They're kind of mean. It's about who's the most stylish. <laughs> um, no. I don't like it. I hate it. But, but it is, it is definitely kind of a jester hat look. She doesn't like it. We are like not it. the fashion police. We're hey. the real police. Hey. That's probably for the best. I did, I did fail to put together one, one thing that needed to not be aggressively Angeros coded. <sighs> I own too many red vests. There's no such thing as too many red vests. Um, okay. I'm not really supposed to be chatting to anyone, but... I thought you might... I thought someone said this was where maps came from. Um, I don't really know anything. I mean, I know it's there, but I haven't seen it, so... Not really. Just, does um, that mean you know him a little? I didn't know him at all. I don't know really long. Um, I don't know. Okay. No need to worry. <laughs> it's just standard procedure for us to ask around. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. <gasps> so <gasps> uh, it definitely explains a lot but it's <sighs> the most recent the most recent um point in my insane twink problems was so for rocky um for rocky horror there is traditionally a like during the opening song like traditionally someone does like a strip tease and it's supposed to be in the style of like your costume is theoretically if you're going like to type supposed to be like a old-timey movie theater usher situation um I'm just too heavily Angelos coded as a person to be able to put together something that hits movie theater Usher without getting in costume, walking up the stairs. One of my castmates takes one look at look at me. Keeping in mind, I have known I've known my like castmates for like three two two or three months so like these are not people that i've like known for a super long time <laughs> look takes one look at me are you supposed to be also ross i am just absolutely decimated at this point because for this one time for the next five minutes actually no i tried so hard to i have a picture of what the outfit was somewhere i have no idea how to put can I? Yes. Hello, it is me. I am here with not a picture. Um, I never remember to, like, have pictures of things. I do have a video from when I was, like, planning out my outfit. Um, the gloves add a powerful energy to this. <laughs> I just want it on record that that's, like, one of the least... Angel Ross coated red vests that I own and other sentences that are an admission of guilt. Anyway, I also go on a rambly little gay rant here about gender, Les Mis, and my coming out story that I'm working on putting together into a concise and comprehensible format. Also, I'm gonna cut out like five minutes of wandering around that's just not entertaining to look at. So back to Disco Elysium. Oh, Things are... That's our shoe, isn't it? <sighs> oh! 
I completely forgot about that. <sighs> While we're here, we're allowed to sneak into the kitchen now. <laughs> hey, we did need the balcony. Um... Oh, is this the door? Um, yes, this is the door that it, that I went out the door and then I was like, no, I wanted to talk to the lady. And then I immediately went back in the door, forgot that I like didn't do anything outside. Shoot. There they both are, two identical shoes. Both copiously green and indiscriminately snakeskin, reunited on your feet. Cool, we did all of that like two babies with one shoe. It's pretty clear a normal cop is not what you are. Right. Good. They're balanced, comfy. Feels like the only good thing. About yeah, you yeah. That sock it needs to go away. That sock needs to be burned at this point. Like, honestly, that the the amount of running around on like pavement and snow and mud and gross, like that sock probably ha is more holes than sock at this point and that's gotta be like the worst possible experience like sorry harry i forgot Ooh, wait wait go back there was a thought there was a floaty thing please put me back Okay, why? <laughs> Can I? Okay. Shoe retrieved. Do, do, do. Can we sneak into the kitchen now? Now that I have both shoes on. Hey, everybody in the kitchen. Aren't you glad that I didn't come in here with one shoe and one extremely cursed sock? This. I thought that was a rug instead of part of the brick. Like this section from this angle. I thought that was just like the weirdest reddest kitchen rug possible and hello can i talk yes. to you no kim i was trying to click on the person behind you this time kim this is the one time i don't want to talk to you i'd like to talk to you thin man is below an exhaust hood occasionally yeah. sipping as you step in he nods toward the table and says something in a completely foreign language the only words you can make out are Garanzi and Kubek. It must be his name. Garanzi. Garanzi Kubek. Sounds representative. Oh no. Now, this is one of those things. This is one of those moments where as a character <sighs> this is one of those moments where as a character we don't know better because we did fail the check we don't know better because we did fail the check He's not gonna know anything that we're saying anyway. The man puts his cup down and replies something, his left hand drawing arcs in the air. He smiles 
and bangs his ladle against each of his pots. It's almost like music, especially with the sounds of assorted dishes boiling and simmering on the stove. Cool. We have we have escaped the fact that we did you not see read the situation a heavy correctly. Steel door with a prominent dimple lock. Are you it's sorry? painted blue. <laughs> yes. You immediately yeah. feel drawn to the color. Sometimes blue is the mystery. The cobalt blue surface feels rough to touch. I just checked back in to blue is, is for mystery. On every side. Old cobalt paint, rough on the fingers. 40, 50 years since this was painted, maybe. The door does not budge. You do? It's a door in the back of the kitchen. Why do you care where it leads? The witch. Outside. In the backyard. Remember? No. Your fingers do. That is an amount of spatial awareness that I wish I had. Just... Okay. That was- that was very- that was very cool and impressive. Figuring out the nice, nice and good. Hmm. Well, if there was a winch, I suppose we could look into it as a side investigation. If you say so, Gart is the person to ask about this, the cafeteria manager. Explore the secret passages. Hello. Oh, we have, ah, yes. Okay. See, I wish we had a map because people have referred to different like regions of things like They're like they've said they they've said there's Martinez, there's Jamrock, there's something else. I would like to know how far away those places are contextually, but I don't think we get to know that concretely. Are we? Yeah, that is why I would like a map. Oh. What? Macaroni. The word I misread was macaroni. There we go. I didn't read the word macaroni nearly fast enough to understand that. There are clothes inside. Cheap second-hand clothes, smelling of strangers' body odors. Don't be shy. These are premium class clothes. Good quality fabrics, best retro design. Save the economy with your style, officer. Load-bearing tuna fish? Ah, oh, yes! Load-bearing tuna fish. I was still trying to figure out the macaroni. <laughs> you find your hands deep in tattered and faded garments made from weird polyester blends that make your body itch and sweat in all the wrong places. 
The box smells like cat piss, or like an old person with no money. Economical, but also trendy. Look first hand, buy second hand. Keep the economy moving. Apparently not. Apparently that, apparently that is, that is an exclusive emotion. Or at least so I've been told. Well, there's, there was certainly no chance of Harry, <laughs> there was certainly no chance of Harry, uh, not being heavily autism coded in my hands. <laughs> We had the whole, I forget about lying, immediately. So, whether there's a, uh, whether there's an escape from that for Harry, uh, potentially within the realm of the game, um, not with me at the wheel. <laughs> Something cold raises your head. Harry, Synthetic I'm sorry, but windbreak. the weird polyester Surf, blends that make your body itch and sweat in all the wrong wind. places, Summer. they are going to hurt you. <laughs> and sport. All in different typefaces. Okay. Good choice, officer. Mega sporty. And it's only 450 for you, sir. Harry. You are going to know all of the textures. Coming back. That was That's a different good, box. Officer. No, keep I clicked on the wrong those thing. Clothes, keep saving that economy. Ah. Unhand me. What are you doing, sir? What is you see a Samaran street vendor surrounded by a motley The name Sile is embroidered. Happy shopping, officer! Every, everything's cool! The goods are cool, the customer... You're very cool. You feel a twitch in your index fingers. There's a finger shootout brewing. Don't shoot, officer! Have we got an arrest here or just a shakedown? Of course, I'll come quietly. But perhaps I could convince you to arrest some of my wares, officer. With your money, maybe? That is, good. That that is the question I've been pondering. You shelf-stable meal kits? Really easy to cook, no hassle, really cheap too. Buy some, try them out. No problem here, officer. I get all this from one of my suppliers, an extremely reputable guy. Oh, he's a good guy. I think you'd get along. I'll let you know the next time he's around. Interesting. We'll need more if we're going to pin this one down, he thinks. Good. Only the coolest goods in Revashal. I've got sneakers, speakers, extremely comfy pants too. Try them on right here. No shame, only freedom. Okay. Anything for you. So, so this guy is just like acquiring and selling humanitarian aid designated like food products because that because that's just his thing. Okay. Yeah. He is. There's a pile of cheap sunglasses in a small box, a variety of shapes and colors. You like sunglasses, officer? I've got the. He's just.
Okay. Yeah. I think this guy is probably the least of our problems. He just seems to be... acquiring and selling food that was intended to be distributed to people in need and selling it because that's how he's decided he's gonna interact with the world and oh pawn shop um sylvie said we probably pawned our gun What is happening in here with the light spinning? Why is it spinning? Hello? Okay. It's simply a cool vibe in here. Okay. Cool. I will stop trying to figure out why the... Because I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be like the reflection of something that was important, but I think it's just... Is there a person in here? Hello? Ah, there we go. Why are you in it's a box? I thought you were a mannequin. Officers from the RCM in my pawn shop. Okay, so we haven't been here before. What can I do for you? His courtesy is not insincere, but he prefers being alone with his projector, just watching the movement of light across the walls of the shop. I haven't had any problems myself. Who are your customers, usually? All kinds of people come through here. Locals, travelers, people looking for a deal, people looking... As you can see, I have a wide selection of goods for everyone to choose from. It keeps me entertained. He's well composed, but underneath it you sense psychedelic processes. Bubbling. Some kind of drug, maybe. Hmm. We're not gonna... We're not gonna succeed, but that's okay. okay. He definitely is high. Whatever it is, you've probably done it. And many other things besides. But you can't cut through the jumble of sensations to get to the answer. He would recognize us if we pawned our gun, though, and he wouldn't have been all like. Did we just, like, sell the gun to someone on the street? Okay, I'll ask the question. Someone else came here earlier today asking the same question. I promptly sold her the gun you pawned a couple days back. Then why were you so surprised to see me? If you... The lieutenant shifts from one foot to another, alert. You, uh, you were adamant about getting rid of it, officer. Said you were undeserving of a service weapon of the Revachol citizens' militia. And I don't like keeping guns around the shop for long. Off the charts photon emissions, the unhealthy kind. Of course. Okay. Oh, you would have. You're not going to tell me anything else about it if I don't ask you. Silly question. Someone else came here. Uh... The lieutenant shifts. She didn't seem like a policeman, although she kept referring to herself as a pig, which was odd. I found her interest in the gun a bit obsessive. But I was just happy to get rid of it, and of her. Truth be told, she was terrifying. Well... Right, so, let me get this right. That's not ideal. You sold your sidearm, issued by the citizens' militia, 
And now a civilian is running around the streets of Martinez with him? Honesty time. <sighs> yeah, it's not good. I do hope we manage to clean this mess up somehow, while also keeping our focus. Show sure, man. Wait, was there another question? Hello again. How can I help you? Oh, okay, so we can ask him again later. There's just another option for it. Cool. Pawn shop successful. We had a new th thought, I thought? Or did we get a... What? Something blinked. So, trying to do this thought for the... Does that, that means the hour that this thought exists for will have a negative to the thing we're supposed to be good at. Okay. But I also know we don't have to do all of the thoughts. We can just ignore them. Interesting. Okay. Uh, tracking dent gun. Okay, so we are just on the same. More gloves. Where did these come from? Hello? I don't remember picking these up. Ah, yes. Okay. The next question is next step. Okay. Why do we have so many negatives? Why, why do we have so many, uh, things that are making our... <sighs> okay, so what if we take the shoes off and then jump off the building? Is that allowed? Are you still disappointed in me? Oh? Good day to you, officers. A burly man hangs out by the waterlock, carving up a generous serving of salami with an old hunter's knife. His eyes are fixed on a man stranded on the other side of the waterlock and on an enormous billboard that has fallen down into the canal between them. The salami? Oh! What? I wasn't here to witness it, but those look like tire tracks on that sign. Weird, huh? Then again, plenty of daredevil drivers in Rivershaw. The words, Dear Devil Driver, sound ominous to you. Why is that ominous? Too bad it also takes a year and a day to repair anything around here. Especially a water lock. The rest of the coast is closed off till then. Wait. Okay. Okay. 
Well, there's the fishing village. What are you doing? An abandoned fish market. A bizarro church. Not much use to the congregation, though. There always seems to be something wrong with it. Yeah, not really much else. Just bombed out ruins. We have no reason to believe that Harry is vegetarian. Sure thing. It is salty. It is savory. It I thought that was taking damage. The hangover only makes the salami more tasty. I saw the pop. I saw the pop up, and I thought that it was it was hurting us instead of healing us. Want some too, officer? Why not? <laughs> Snack break that didn't kill us. Okay. Wait. Good day to you, officers. Okay. You're just here. Right? What are you... Okay. Yes, we were just in there. Um. Okay. Yeah. Other than the fact that if we're trying to go talk to the union boss, but mm, I don't, I don't trust anyone except for Kim, which now that feels like a choice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the the question is assign skill point to either endurance to try inspecting the body again or savoir faire to try jumping off the roof again. We have so many negatives to Savoir Faire for some reason. Now that we have both shoes on, apparently we're bad at jumping off of stuff. Um, which... <sighs> it's gonna make this interesting. We have another, uh, stat negative. But... We can assign a point to it to unlock it, at least. The next question is, does just taking off something that is making it worse help us? Like, will it let us have, will it let us have multiple tries at this if we don't die about it? Because, okay, the, the questions are... The, qu the question is, sneaking into the harbor to try to go talk to the union boss, that feels like a bad call because sneaking into the harbor and then just showing up at this door's office, dude's office, when, like, there's no way we should be, like, there, when we shouldn't have physically been able to get there without going through Measurehead, who would probably, like, announce our presence. Um, that feels sketchy and bad and like a mistake but sneaking around and 
sneaking around and then doing other things later does sound like a very fun and good plan. So, also... The tarpaulin cloak would possibly have... pass the markings okay. is still so caught do... on the railing. How are you here? I... Don't worry about that part. I'm just fine. Um, but now let me just interrogate you about your organization that I don't trust. At all. That just like, hi, I visibly don't trust you as far as I could throw you, which isn't very far because I am not a strong boy. Okay. What if, and hear me out, we just, can I not choose, can I choose to not wear shoes? Will it let me jump off the roof if I'm not wearing shoes anymore? The tarpaulin cloak no, would that is not sufficient. Markings is still caught on the railing. I took my shoes off, it's safe. With possible RCM markings oh, is cool. still caught on the railing. As you leap in the air, a chilly breeze engulfs you, sharpening your senses. Ankles tingling from the tension, blood roaring in your ears. You are ready for your rendezvous with the concrete paper. As the concrete floor welcomes you, you realize it's been a while since you felt so alive. Alert, capable, must be the adrenaline. I know you could do it. My climbing down might not have been as disco as your jump, but at least we can explore the harbor now. With your feet firmly planted on the concrete, the noise of the harbor rushes. Okay. We have successfully Snuck into the harbor, and we have different. I will put the shoes back on and stop being so dramatic. We have the cloak. Cool. Oh, do we want to wear that? Do we want to wear the cloak? Well, it... can I? How do I? I would like to go. We can make more decisions later. I would like to run around in the cloak for a second. Yeah? Yes? Not yet. Excuse me? Aw. You have a, a distinctive way of walking. If I were to walk in front of you, <laughs> we'd surely collide. Yeah, Kim, are you, you going to roast me? Way. It's just a collegial observation. In the 57th, we call it the Jamrock Shuffle. Officers from Jamrock's 41st precinct tend to move a bit erratically. Kim is roasting me. They say it's a scene-clearing technique developed by one of your lieutenants for gathering evidence. It's erratic, yet thorough. Prioritizes containers. Yes, but containers contain... things. I don't know. Containers contain, I guess. I'm making assumptions. We should move on. Passing along frivolous interdepartmental stereotypes is not usually his oeuvre. He regrets bringing it up. Mm. Okay, so can you... No? Yes. Ah! Stairs. Wait. There was a bubble in the book. Hello? I had a thought bubble for a second, but I guess it- I walked out of the zone of it. 
No? Okay. We have we have snuck into the harbor. Now what? Kim, do you have a plan? Because other than just walking into the union boss's office and asking and, like, other than walking into this man's office and that's declaring our presence. That feels like that feels like such a like specific step because then they know we are like picking around looking for information. Oh. We're kind of just in here. And I know from the investigation of the boots that it was clearly dock workers, but not enough information to know if the people involved were from the union side or the strike breakers side, because it, like, we just have boots, that's... We know we're looking for eight people. And a couple of them have distinctive shoes, but that's other than walking around and quietly picking up small amounts of coins. Ah. Okay. So now, what is going on in here? Okay. Is this like multiple shipping containers that have been built into something? This is an office of some description. Uh-oh. That is, that is, in fact, the point at which we declare our presence. Hello, sir. We have found, we have found your secret hidden office in a shipping container. Okay. Oh, there's a guy. Container, container, I'll turn you nice and red. Container, container, put the logos on. The lyrics to this container song are being made up as he goes okay. along. Okay. The accent is so thick, it's impossible not to notice he is Ubi from the vanishing peninsula of Ubisunt on Moindi. Container, container, used to be well pines. Container, container, now belongs to Everard. He can Everard, resume Everard, song Everard. He looks after everyone. Huh? I see you are not a union man, mister. Did you get lost? You're not one of them scabs, are you? Hmm. I don't know if he's sharp enough to... He, he, he wouldn't catch the lie like Manana did. But... I'll just... I mean, I don't personally mind. 
folks are just folks, you know, and folks gotta eat. Cool. Just cool. some he of the other guys the don't question. look too kindly on the scabbing kind, if you know what I mean, mister. I knew what that meant. Oh, it I can't scroll back that far to figure out if that was that from the from what I remember of the thing that seemed like not a mean thing. Just oh yes, okay. born and raised in a riash, Mister. Mom had to leave yeah, my dad like, after he got the, way, the context of the information. To the new he world. is from there, and it's a place, and I'm not. Lose my accent then. People mm. say us Ubis are up to all sorts of trouble with sheep and other animals and whatnot. I just want you to know there was never any of that where I come from. No, sir. Those are just nasty rumors. Thank you for clarifying that, sir. Oh, I'm just making some covers for them containers here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So it's easier for the crane operators to spot them. Okay. The containers in the yard are green in Wild Pines livery, and the mountains rising behind Leo is all red in Union colors. Okay. It's like some red infection was spreading outwards from the container yard's core. There appear to be cisterns underneath the Union container covers. There appear to be cisterns underneath the... So they're clearly hiding something. But... Truck. Okay, so they're clearly hiding something. What are they trying to make it look like instead, though? Like, what is happening? Okay. Yes, they are hiding it from the inside. All the red containers have the Debarders Union logo on them. Yes. Uh, yeah. No, I not really. You. Miss Era doesn't. Yeah, tell me you all don't the big seem things. like the Says person they would trust with everybody. the sensitive information. That's fair. Gotcha. Oh, I don't know, Mister. They say it's some chemicals. Most of them have labels on them, I think. Are they actively lying to you? Yes. What? Okay. I I need to look at oh, things no again. Oh, no trouble at all, mister. No trouble at all. You're going to tell me that he's right in there. Oh, you want Mr. Everard then? He's an awfully nice fellow, he is. Him and his brother are both nice fellows. They've lived their entire lives in this here neighborhood. Guys like Mr. Everard and Mr. Edgar, his brother, are real good guys. Made marginalize what it is today. Mr. Everard and Mr. Edgar and I went to the same school we did when we were boys. Oh, Mr. Everard okay, so there is very honest. Everard and Edgar. In his office, of course. They're brothers. Um, Everard is the one that we snuck in far enough to see. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. They're just existing. I am, like, mentally picturing them as identical twins just because of the similar names. I, n I have no other reason to believe that. That's That may or may not be the joke. I don't even know. I... D I just... Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, most of the guys are down at the gates. Keeping the scabs from coming in. So these are the shipping containers. Some of them have been turned into Everard's office. We're on a strike. The whole union is. You don't have to work when you're on strike. <laughs> we haven't worked for two months now. But what are you supposed to be doing? And actually, again, you are active. I, I do want to let you know you are actively working. Like, if it hasn't occurred to you, being told to recover 
every shipping container in the harbor is in fact work, my dude. Um, that you are actively doing while you think that you have not worked for two months now. So, um... You, you can't, I, I'm, I'm not allowed to, I, I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed to unionize you because you're already unionized and that's the problem. They've told you to do things. Oh, 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 you poor dear. I have become very afraid of, uh, very afraid for this fictional man. You haven't. So no one is working? Except for him. Not everyone. Literally down right there, now. Of course. Mr. Ambrar is in his office, where he always is. And Jean Luc is guarding the gate. Oh, sweetie. Jean Luc is manager head. Well, Titus and his boys got into some drunken trouble, and Ambrar sent them on a nice vacation for a week or so. Or is, are Jean Luc and Measure had different people? But Manana called Measurehead Measurehead, so that's not just what the scabs call him. Right? Ah! Well, I'm not really supposed to talk about that. That's union business. Him and his boy stirred up something in town. Probably drank too much and got into a fight or something. I heard Mr. Everett telling him to take some time off. What are you supposed to be doing? Not you specifically, everyone else. Okay. Jean-Luc is in fact Measurehead. Cool, 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 cool. Um... I guess the boys got a bit too rowdy and had to let out some steam. I don't really know the details. Well, that's just how boys are, you know. <laughs> I haven't been in a fight since I was in middle school. Ah. Easy, Leo. Let's keep this on the hearties. I can't just ask him that. Okay. Is... He's not supposed to talk about it, but does he know? I don't want to let him know things that I, I don't want to let him know that I know things if he doesn't know the things that I know. Too late. Leo's mouth is still moving and the words are spewing forth. Words, words, and look, even more words. This guy could go on till the end of days. Now he's talking about some drunk sawmill owner who, no, he already switched to a prized fishing rod he apparently owned at some point. You know what? Okay, Just cool. He's not, there he's not listening questions. to me enough for... Uh, he's not listening to me enough for it to matter what I said. Cool. So he will not remember that I have given him yes, too much information. Yes. Everybody needs a job, and this is mine. I'm Leonard, by the way. Leonard Bellick. But everyone calls me Leo. I'm like Mr. Edgar's right-hand man when Mr. Edgar is out of town, and Mr. Edgar's right-hand man when Mr. Edgar is away. <laughs> Actually, Miss Beaufort is the right-hand man, but she's a lady. <laughs> Who is this Miss Beaufort? A real pretty lady with a skin like those Douay Sucre candy bars my missus likes so much. Them are real nice to suckle on once the dinner is done and me... But I can't listen to the radio all the time. There's so much to do around here, and I'm always busy keeping things running here. 
Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Which, again, is not indicative of the fact that you are on strike. Like, that's the... Oh, you poor... Oh, you poor dear. Oh, you poor dear. And... I can do, and I can do nothing, and I can do nothing that will not put you in more danger. Oh, Lizzie, she is a real sharp tool. Miss Everett put her through some fancy school and everything, east of the river. Four years she was gone, and when she came back, she was all fancy and lawyerly. But she's a real nice girl. Grew up in this here. If me missus and me was to have a child, I'd be... Dr. Lemaitre said so. Okay. And she knows... A so Evra trained a lawyer named Miss Beefoot. Interesting. You are doing yes, a very good job. This place really seems to run like clockwork. Keep it up, Leo. Well, thanks a lot. Coming from you, you, you are you lot, are doing really? a very good job. Uh Sometimes at, at everything except for really being on strike. You I are doing a terrible, terrible job at but being on strike right. right now, but I can't tell you that without getting you in trouble. Oh, that one. That should be empty as far as I know. Lots of containers here have nothing in them. They're just waiting to be loaded up. Okay. So, containers waiting to be loaded up. Okay. This is a quick, if I'm wrong about the next thing, then my then then my brain contains information that is that then that is making this so the point of shipping containers the way they're designed they're supposed to get like grippy by crane attached to the truck about it right that's how that that's how this whole thing is supposed to work the shipping container whatever is going in it exists in a crane grippable unit to be put in like on a truck about it so if they have empty shipping containers here waiting to load them what are they like what are they loading into it because i thought this was just a harbor where they were receiving deliveries of some kind taking like that was like industrial harbor my first thought okay shipping containers come off of a truck crane grippy to go put on like crane grippy the container put on a truck where it is then transportable i don't know enough about like the actual practical logistics of like real world industry more than that but loading they shouldn't be there they shouldn't be empty unless they are like unless this is coming from a factory of some kind what are they making why what what are you doing why will you It's weird that there are so many empty containers unless they are putting something in the containers on site. Unless I'm crazy. Like, I could be totally, totally... I could be totally, totally going on about nothing right now. And why are you recovering them like this? What? Why are they being like recovered instead of just like painted? That's probably just a design choice. That's probably just a design choice, and I'm gonna I, I'm gonna get lost if I think about that. But what? They're hiding something. Somehow. Bye bye now. Okay. other than picking up piles of loose coins. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. I would like to see as much as I can. So this is, yes. The mask of boiling mask comes from the chasm in front of you, smells like blood. Okay. So, they're just putting, they're just putting the red shit on all of the containers to rebrand them. And this is that guy's job because they have managed to convince him to do all of the work in a strike because he is too sweet to do anything else. What am I mean? This is, this is locked. Okay. Can I, I, can I hit it with the pry bar? Can I hit it with the pry bar? Oh. It totally would let me put the plastic bag down. I just had to left click. Oh, what? Okay, so it seems like to use the pry bar, you don't have to always necessarily do a crazy, crazy check about it. Sometimes it's easy. Unless I have lost my mind, which is always a very real possibility. Okay, okay. So these shipping containers have been built into an office. Presumably like all of that because the like spatial designs of this game are clear and simple enough that I can follow it, which is saying something. So that structure all in office what are they fucking doing okay I know that's the point I know that's the point oh my god because he said something about cisterns in the cupboards is that what that is supposed to be hi I'm just trying to figure out if that's a cistern I think I know what a cistern is in my head, um, but I am just going to double check because if I'm not 100% firing on that, I'm going to make some weird choices. Yes, I am correct about what a cistern is, and I do think it could be that. Will you tell me that again? Oh, hey, mister. I knew you'd be back to talk with old Leo here. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. It's like Lady Larice said when she opened a bathhouse in the basement of my apartment building. They can only get so far before they're aching to get back. And lots of folk really did keep... You are very No sweet. trouble at all, and mister. I... No trouble at all. It's like that old saying goes, wisdom withers if not shared. And old Leo is always up for sharing. Okay. Is this where you said the thing oh, about that the sister? That should... I spend like a bad amount of time looking for this line. I don't find it, but I can insert it here so everyone knows what I'm talking about. There appear to be cisterns underneath the Union container covers. Anyway, carrying on now. Oh, there is absolutely a cue on my Tumblr. I cannot let my sleep schedule be provable. It is, it is what, it is one of the things that I fully acknowledge 
is a bit of an unnecessary neurotic habit, but... The Tumblr queue exists to obfuscate my sleep schedule. Why this is important to me, I am not totally sure. <laughs> Now, how would you get over here if you had come past Measurehead? That's... I'm not exactly sh I, Hey, that is giving this irrational process of my brain entirely too much, um, entirely too much credit. But also, there, there are, like, a substantial, like, percentage of my, like, IRL friends that follow me. So just like continuously having the um, just low level obfuscation for my sleep schedule, they will never know if I am actually awake or not. And again, I have no idea why this matters. Sometimes your brain just picks a weird thing and you don't want to look too close to it. So I don't. Wait, did Kim just. Kim! Kim does not obey the laws of physics. Alrighty. Kim does not obey the laws of physics. How did you... Okay, yeah, you just walked into space. I thought you could actually get down there somehow. But I guess not. No. Nope. Okay. I don't know how... Yeah, they just, like... The button does something else, right? That's... Okay. That's confusing, and I'm gonna have to come back to that later. Oh, do we have a way of getting out of here? Will it let us climb? There's a door! Great job for my eyeballs. Oh. I, I don't know why the door looked like it went inside. The dark liquid in the pot looks almost sentient. On second glance, someone has forgotten to properly close one of the drawers. It's unfortunate for the Union to just leave their paperwork laying around like this. Let's see what's inside, he thinks. The drawer opens smoothly. Inside is a well-organized select hundreds of documents containing logistical data. Two kinds of transactions stand out. Materials <laughs> coming into Revachol from the outside world, from Muindi, Grad, and even Ilmara. And the same materials being handed over to companies inside Revachol, Kuron, Coal City, La Delta, and Jamrock are listed among the many districts where the imports are being sold. Yes. Yes. This makes sense. Okay. Documents containing logistical data. Same. Yeah. Right. So it's weird that they have so many empty containers. 
It's hard to make sense of this thicket of company names, dates, quantities, and percentages. You try to focus, but the lines are getting blurry. <gasps> Gotta love the extremely accurate ADHD check. Whatever's hidden here is hidden well. Concentration isn't unrealistic. Enough. Only a Could never be me. With a background in logistics, would be able to really make sense of it. However, there is a little handwritten note stuck on the side of the drawer. It appears to be a to-do list written in large, uneven capital letters. Remember, Leo, Everard's shoes, oh. special whirling borscht, water Everard's plants, sweet office floor, more banners. Remember the moment where Kim was upset because I said that everything would fall apart without Leo? And he was just like, you're, be you're demeaning this man. No, I am horrified for the conditions that this man is existing under. All items on the list have been crossed out, and the note itself is crumpled. Oh. Everard Claire, probably. The head of the Debarders Union. Leo must have left it. Nothing incriminating here. I'm not saying it's incriminating, Kim. I'm not saying it's an incri- Remember, Leo. Everard's shoes. Special whirling borscht. Water Everard's plants. Sweet office floor. More banners. I'm so glad that you have the special whirling borscht. All items on the list have been crossed out. The drawer slides shut. Lonesome. Long way home. Oh. Here we go. Home awaits. Walk past Station 41 and through the market. Past the Boogie Street Spearhead to the other side of the lake, the frozen eye at the center of the district. Then, past the video rental store on the corner. There, at the end of a street lined with pine trees, a small house no larger than a matchbox. 11 Voyager Road. You no longer live there. Those times are gone. And so are those people. Why did you come here? Why are you still here? And where's the dealer? You have to get back to work. That's all you have now. Okay. Okay. Cool. That seems like it had... That seems like it maybe creates more questions than it answers. Imposing combination of a punch clock and a payphone is looking down at you from the wall. A note on the side says, Tokens unavailable due to strike. Use change. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Wait, did this- is this back outside? That's back outside. See, this looks like an office. 
this looks like a space that should be an office. You'll notice how it isn't a pile of shipping containers. That's its main qualification for being an office, but... <laughs> What's, what, what awaits us out this door? God damn it! I don't want him to know we're investigating him. I don't want him to know we're investigating him until we know what we're doing. Last interruption for this video. I think that's a climbable wall. I think Harry could climb that wall. They said it's only like two meters tall. That's like a little over six feet. I don't know how tall Harry is, but I am a five foot five scruffy rat of a twink with hip problems. And I think, given gloves, because obviously I would like destroy my hand skin trying to grab concrete with my bare hands, but like, Harry's got gloves, Harry's got options, Harry could climb that wall. I know it's a plot point and it has to like, move the plot along and that's why we can't climb the wall, but I think I could climb that wall. And like, Harry's gotta be taller than me. It's a climbable wall. Anyway. Oh, what is, what is that? Oh yeah, that is another thing. Can I go over there now? What if I, what if I simply, what if I simply run away from my problems? I don't want him to know we're investigating him until I know what we're investigating. This is the Night Watchman's booth. The name on the door reads, Rene Arnaud. Oh, was that the same Rene? Listen, it's okay to take a few minutes to yourself. Sit down and have a breather. Oh. I... Well, okay. The chair is not as austere as the rest of the booth. A thin grey pillow is attached to the seat, secured to the stiles by black ribbons. Stale air floods through your nostrils. Not a single mote of dust floats inside your lungs, though. The inside of the booth is immaculate. Oh, wait, I forgot you warned me about a chair. <laughs> okay. Snack break. The drawers are empty, save for old timesheets and receipts. Well, one small box, however, does hold some It's cheap not forgetting cards. that I forgot. You didn't know I forgot until I forgot. Assuming I remembered was a totally reasonable expectation. Um. Just not one I made happen. Oh boy, where to start? Elevated risk of dementia, mini strokes, prophet's disease, sudden death, hair death, erectile malfunction, critical flatulence, watery blood, black mucus, uncontrollable weeping, increased sensitivity to la opera, inoperable joint disorder, total spinal collapse. Did I just make us sit through that list of side effects so that I had time to finish eating a piece of pretzel. Yes, I did. Don't think about that. Quick, think about something else. The enormity of the case before you dwarfs the list of side effects. You can't even see the side effects anymore. They're nothing to you. Wait.
this is just a test of are we willing to put strange drugs in our body? We can ask Kim for permission. I do... Listen. In the real world, I am an adult that knows I'm allowed to make my own choices, but I do think it is so very funny that we're allowed to ask Kim for permission to, to take drugs. To do, okay, Kim also doesn't want to tell us whether or not we're you allowed to have the drugs. Painkillers. They are yours now. You stand and exit the booth. If you must. But please hurry. We are pretty easy to spot up here. Hey, you know where we're less easy to spot? In the booth. Nothing incriminating catches your eye. The cabinets are clean and their sparse contents meticulously organized. There's a f looks like the inhabitant is rather pedantic when it comes to order. I'm not gonna steal Renee's picture. Let's get going. The entire neighborhood can see us up here. Is this a lot of bottles? Ah! Okay. Hey, Disco Elysium, will you continue allowing me to run from my problems? No? Cool. Alright, what's the thought? Snow is quietly covering the numerous wine bottles and cigarette butts on the ground. Someone partied really, really hard here. Well, yes, I think we can say with relative confidence that it was you. Ah, ha, ha. Yes, this looks pretty advanced, all right. For now, let's just move on. Okay. It is now going to not allow us to continue running from... I don't want him to know we're here. Okay. It must not matter. This, I guess, is an example of Sometimes AJ logic has nothing to do with, like, actually what needs to happen. <sighs> because the, fa the fact that I... Is it the fact that I think there are more things to do? Okay. Ah, we're just gonna... This feels like walking into a trap. Okay. Let me out, let me out. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine that he knows we're here. It's fine that he knows we're here, and it's fine that he doesn't know how we got here. That's chill and fine and normal. And I am so worried for... I'm so worried for Leo, but that's okay. Coffee is fine. Okay. Before you is yep. a walrus of a man seated Just behind a it. large desk. He looks up from his work. Not the least bit surprised to see. With great effort, he straightens himself up in his chair, yet says nothing. He simply stares at you. With a mixture of expectation and impatience, well bought. Yeah, obviously. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome, Mr. Dubois, Mr. Kitsuragi. It's good of you two to stop by. Please, have a seat. Okay. 
And of course, I know that that's correct. I'm Everard. Everard Right, Claire. like, Have that... Have you heard of Union here in Martinez? Is I why my hand, I'm so... But unfortunately, my health prevents me from getting up. You understand? He looks extremely comfortable. The tiny folding chair, on the other hand, looks like a torture device. You go ahead, detective. Whatever he has in store for you, it can't be good, he thinks. I'll do my best. Forget about that. What's with this Dubois stuff? You're getting some seriously bad vibes from that name. Please, Mr. Dubois, let us converse in a civilized manner, as equals. Take a seat. I insist. It's nothing. Yes, that's probably right. It's nothing. Forget about it. Filter it out. Ah. Uh. So. Hear me out. We no longer have one hit point. I've been reminded of I, I, I am I am keenly aware that this is a trap. But Excellent, Mr. Dubois. I can see that you're a reasonable man and reasonable men. I don't I'm already so men suspicious can be of him. Great use to one another. I'm gonna play along. So tell me. How can the head of the Debardes Union help a representative of the Revishal Citizens Militia today? The chair you're sitting on has got to be the most uncomfortable chair in the world. It's violating your backside. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. By the way, I heard you got a rather rude reception from a certain Lawrence Gart. Some people have no manners, it pains me to say. This should take care of that nonsense. It should be sufficient to cover your expenses for a few days and patch over your differences with a cafeteria manager. Go ahead, take it. You are bribing me. Actively. Wow. That's 25 real. That's good money. You need it. You are bribing me actively. And a Additionally, you know enough to know that that's not. Yeah, they're just like this man. They're just like this man knows enough to know that I am in a situation in which twenty-five real is not going to save me. Like, head. If he knows Gart's been giving me problems, like, he knows better. Yes, I know Lawrence. He's a real character. No union man in him. A real piece of work, that boy is. With a grin, he points to the checker game. It's like you're on a game show. At least don't thank him for it. Yeah, this is the this is the question. I have to decide if I want this man to know that I'm to to know how I feel about him. There's play there's playing along. I don't care about the middle two options. I'm currently sitting here going either playing along or bite immediately. Okay. Okay. Is this, is it 
time for me to stop being indecisive time. Okay. I'm gonna go with bite immediately. Okay, okay. I respect a man with principles. No handouts, then. Now, I'd like to set your mind at ease about one other matter. Your lost gun. Let me assure you, Union people are on it as we speak. His slug-like lips move, but... The world is swallowed by a black hole of fear. Only two words escape its gravitational pull. Lost and gun. I know everything, <sighs> Harry. Right now, I know that you're worried. It's not like you left it it's loaded. To get by you me. didn't lose a loaded gun. Local children aren't out there playing with it right now, pointing it into their own mouths. It's in a safe place. I just know it. I have a feeling everything's going to be all right. And again, lost is an interesting word here because it was it, it was pawned and then sold. Lost to me, but not by any technical definition of losing. Someone did ostensibly purchase it, like, according to it was loaded. a process. There were two bullets in it. You oh. always keep at least two barrels loaded. Who does this guy think you are? Ronnie the Rookie? You ain't worried about no lost gun, or unpaid bill, or forgotten name. You're the bad cop. You're probably more corrupt than him. Fuck yes. You're part of the old guard. The ancient guard. The most corrupt, unholy cops in the land. Chill out like the... The fat man does the same, sinking deeper into his chair than... Good. Now lean in with some... corruption. That we do, Harry. Let them say what they will about you and me. We're both born fighters. <sighs> Why, thank you. It's always not... That's it. Now kick back and add a final flourish for dignity. You strike me as a reasonable yes, man, Harry. I like that in a law man. Let's cut to the chase, shall we? What can Everard Clare do? I think we'd like to ask you a few questions. Somehow you managed to get yourself out of this one. Now quick, keep the momentum up. Ask questions. <laughs> oh, Harry, honestly, I'm just relieved you didn't get a hernia. A man your age... Hmm. Okay. Fair. Things do always turn real wacky when you and I are in the same room, don't they, Harry? Anyway, I assure you, I am a very well-informed man. Okay. Information, so, of course, let us dispatch yes. with a formality. Okay. My God, so it's true. I didn't want to believe it, but you are a fantastic... I think the odds of that are very low. I assure you, there's nothing to be ashamed of, Harry. You're among friends, and the good news is, I have a big fat folder on you, Harry. I'm sure you have a lot of questions to ask. Maybe I can help you out. I'm sure you had some concerns you thought I might be able to address. And you... It's just a brown folder. You can't make out what... Are you trying to tell me you've gotten hold of some of our documents? Mr. Kitsuragi, would you mind? Me and Harry are talking... Don't just jump to the folder. 
That's not smart. Shows you're on the edge. Do some probing first. Ah, this? My friends in your organization gave it to me, Harry. I find that very suspicious. May I have... I'm afraid this is meant for union eyes only, Mr. Kitsuragi. I'm sure you understand. Please continue, Harry. Harry, you're not simply a cop, you're a star. A bright shining star in the drab law enforcement sky, outshining all other stars. You're a superstar. Of course I do, Harry. And I'm gonna help I... you shine. I'm gonna put you on all the big stages, your name in giant neon letters. Harry Dubois. The giant neon sign reading Harry Dubois hanging from the Kvalsun crane can be seen all the way somewhere in Mirova. A beautiful ah, woman I am sees just now seeing that. On the horizon Sorry, the, and says to herself, uh, thing to Oh my God, I shouldn't have Save left me. him. Okay. It's Harry. Harry Dubois. And I can work with you, Harry. Now, what else can I do for you? Family? Harry, you're not a family man. There's not one peep of family in here. Unless you think you're a family man. Do you strike yourself as a family man, Harry? Are you trying to lie to me, sir? Ah. That's why I like you, Harry. I don't know. If a I'm good trying. man knows both his strengths and his weaknesses, and you, my friend. You are one of the all-time greats. Why do I have a plus one because Kim suspects something? Oh, the plus one is because, yeah. As you look at the folder, Everard covers it with his hand and pets it. He's hiding it from you because it's not a real RCM folder. It's just another one of those brown folders you saw in the file. Okay. Cabinet. Okay, Harry, you got me. This is from the Census Bureau, not the RCM. Those Census Bureau people are absolutely corrupt. Ah! He got the name from the Census Bureau and everything else from your actions here in Martinez. Yes, yes, Mr. Kitsuragi from the Census Bureau. Like I said, now I'm actually a very busy man. So is there anything else I... That means he doesn't really know anything about you. A pity. The mystery of... You will have to remain a mystery for the time being. I would just drop. Yes, down that's drop what I said. Okay. Try to keep up, okay? Let's move on. So. That makes sense. Yes, your lost gun. Sure. My best men are on it. Your gun will be found, Harry. Let me assure you of that. It's just a... The only way to find it seems to be working with him. He might even be holding yeah. your gun hostage. It was, though. You know that, though. I don't know if this game has the tone of that as genuine or like a little bit sarcastic. Because if it was a little bit sarcastic, I would 100% be on board for that. But sometimes I think this game is being sarcastic when it's not for...
We're gonna Damn it, Harry. It That's exactly what it means. I'm only kidding, of course. Of course. I understand. We had Pew, you had Buzz. Oh, of course. That's your main thing here. That's why you're in Martin Ames. I know everything that goes on around here, and I would love to help, like I'm helping you with your lost gun. I mean, it's no secret that the lynching is connected to the strike. So much to talk about. Honestly, it's been weighing on me so heavily. I understand you need to I don't, me. actually. But there's a thing. I don't think you're going to night. tell me a damn I useful to talk about thing. The I mean, if we could just calmly talk, exchange information, we could blow this thing wide open. Yes, that sounds good. Except I don't trust a damn word you're that. going to tell me. But I can't think straight with this thing weighing on me. You're police officers, aren't you? I have a crazy idea. You guys are basically door opening machines, incredibly talented at opening doors. I'm just oh, gonna. You're I... being too modest, my friend. But don't worry, this annoying. Keep well... it cool, baby boy. You can use this. Groove with this. Play along. Let him throw his weight around, and when he throws it too much, and you've got him off guard, that's when you trip him up. Mm. Okay, we're gonna ask the questions first. Harry, I'm, I'm very pretty busy sure, man, I'm and more importantly. I don't have that extraordinary physique you do. You look like you could run around all day. You want to send someone a message that the police are working for you. I repeat, I'm a very, very busy man, Mr. Kitsaragi, and therefore I'm a... I... Of course, Harry, I understand. But if that's the case, I don't think we'll ever right. find your gun. If... Good. Perhaps this was just bad timing for you. No... Yes, we both and... This may be the only way, he thinks. I won't hold it against you. In fact, we probably should reconsider later. Wait. You need this to get in and out through the gate. Here. You're one of us now. A real red and white union man. Take... Okay, that feels like a good place to call it for today. Um, that was a lot. He knows more than he should, but not as much as he wants to. And I am not allowed to get to get too angry with him. Can I get outside, please? But yeah, I think that's a good natural stopping point for tonight. 